Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League Predictions. Just before we get started, I want to give a big shout out to Gareth Pantleton and Ricky Golden. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that anyway, but yeah. So there's a lot to talk about. I've got the results on the other screen now, so if I need a quick reminder, I can have a look while I'm doing this. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big crop and you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Southampton Aston Villa. Aston Villa got beaten 4-1 at home to West Ham. Um, Aston Villa do remember that game quite well. I did actually watch it. I think it's live on Sky. And uh, yeah, let's not beat around the bush. West Ham did play pretty well like they have been already. Uh, West Ham currently in the top four due to that result as well. It's going to be a really interesting game. Southampton did beat uh, Watford away 1-0. Uh, good result by Southampton and just in the Gilly 1-0 And um, These are two teams, for me personally, that really are struggling uh, this season. Southampton seem to always struggle down the way to survive, I'll give them that. But Aston Villa, I've been saying it for weeks, have been struggling with the likes of not playing, not having Jack Greenlish. Um, and their struggle seems to continue. Going forward to this weekend in this fixture though, I'm going to go for a 1-1 scoreline for that one. My next one is the big one, it's Manchester United vs Man City. Now I did watch Man United in the Champions League game last night as I'm recording this, if not, if it, you're watching it until the Thursday for say, on a Tuesday night. If I play anything that I did against Atlanta, yes, they did come back and draw it, but I can actually see sitting and uh, pulling them apart. Uh, let's go to the Premier League results quickly, and Man United did win 3-0 to Spurs. Man City did lose 2 0 at home to Crystal Palace. Now, I did actually predict Man City to win the Champions League game, and I'm sort of expecting them to do it this time as well. Man City do have the problem of losing to, let's say, a big underdog like Crystal Palace, and then uh, coming back and, you know, winning loads of games in a row. So, I'm going to go for a Man City win, as I've said, and I'm going to go for. A 3-2 Man City win. Uh, I just can't see Man United the way they play against Atlanta last night. Beating Man City at Old Trafford. Big upset could be there as well. The next one is Brentford versus Norwich. Now Norwich have yet to win again this season. Norwich did actually lose 2-1 to Leeds the previous weekend. And funny enough... You know, they did actually come back and get an equaliser and then Lee scored around about the 80th minute, I believe, you know, in that result. And uh, I can see where Norwich is struggling. Um, but, yeah, still, yeah, it's a a point. Uh, not a point, I win this season. And they do, I ain't going to get it easy this weekend either. Brentford did lose to Burnley away from home last weekend. And to be honest, I can actually see why. Um, you know, what Burnley actually picked up the three points, no disrespect to Brentford. But I'm going to put Brentford back onto the winning trail this weekend, and I'm going to go for an easy 2 0 Brentford win. My next one is Chelsea versus Burnley. Funny enough, just speak about Burnley beating Brentford 3 1. It's with Chelsea, I saw them against uh, in their champ. Well, I didn't actually watch the whole game, but I did, uh, I did only win 1 0 in their Champions League tie. And funny enough, the reverse leg, I think it's Moreno, Moreno, what, sorry if I mispronounced that couple name in any way, shape or form. I did actually go to a reverse leg, but well, it's at Stamford Bridge, and Chelsea did look completely different. Well, I think they scored within the first 20 minutes of play, and they just looked like a different team. As I said, I did watch bits and pieces last time, but I only won win by one goal to nil. Is it going to affect this weekend against Burnley Road back at Stamford Bridge? I can't actually see nothing going wrong with Chelsea this weekend. A quite comfortably 3-1 Chelsea win. My next one is Crystal Palace versus Wolverhampton. Crystal Palace did beat Man City away from home previous weekend. Great result for Palace. You know, you can't take nothing away from them, you know, with the likes of what they did. Wolverhampton did beat Everton 2-1 at home though, and I did actually watch that uh, Wolverhampton game against Everton. Was I slightly shocked with the way the result went? Maybe, yeah, but, you know, it's one of them things. It's going to be a really interesting game this weekend at Selhurst Park. Which way do I call it? I'm going to go 
see Crystal Palace be on sky high. I'm going to go for a draw, and I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Brighton versus Newcastle. Brighton drawing 2-2 at Anfield uh, against Liverpool. And to be honest, you know, me being a Brighton fan, I'm over the moon with that. Let's, you know, I'm not going to sound disappointed. But going two goals down at Anfield. And, uh, yes, yeah, so Brighton coming back two times over the moon with that, as I've just said. Obviously, it could be 3-0 Liverpool. Could have been a whole different story. Uh, Marnie handball for putting it into the net. As VAR goes, you know, it's one of them rules. I have actually watched a bit of Football League this season as well. And I can actually see where decisions will be overturned for VAR in action if it was in the Football League or the EFL, but it's not. So I'm happy that VAR is here, even though it will go against my club, surely at some point this season. You know, I'm still thankful that it's in the game and tries to even up as much as possible. But as I've said in previous videos, it's not the VAR itself making these calls, it's the people behind the screen. Going forward to this weekend, Newcastle yet to pick up a win this season. As I'm recording this, they still but they still haven't put Unai Emery in charge. And speaking of that, Villarreal did win last night against Young Boys, I believe. And it looks like Unai Emery wants to come to Newcastle. Big job Unai Emery will have. We're going to try and what we've heard about this Saturday. I ain't going to think that's going to change the fortune, though. Brighton being back at the MX Stadium, and obviously I'll be a flog. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Brighton win. My next one is Arsenal versus Watford. Now, Watford did lose Southampton. Arsenal did beat Leicester. Quite comfortable Arsenal now, banging form. What can we expect from Arsenal? I'm going to actually expect an Arsenal win, and that's going to expect to Watford. But Arsenal is so high on form right now, it's going to be hard to stop them. So I'm going to go for an Arsenal win and I'm going to go for a 3-0 Arsenal win. My next one is Everton versus Spurs. Now Spurs did lose to Man United and that saw the end of uh, Bruno Santos. Sorry if I mispronounced it. You know who I'm on about anyway. And put Conte in charge. So it's going to be a really interesting game for his first uh, game as, you know, in charge of Tottenham. Uh, which way would it go over the next, you know, over that 90? It's got to be really interesting. But due to the, I think Everton lost, yes they did, 2-1. Just double checking. I think because of the first manager syndrome and all the kind of stuff that goes around that, I believe Spurs will win this one. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Leagues versus Leicester. Leagues did beat Norwich away from home. As I said, you can tell why they're down the bottom though in Leagues United. I really do actually fear for Leagues itself. You know, the likes of how they've been struggling. I think that's the first three points they picked up this season as well. Could be wrong, please don't quote me on that. But you can see where they've been struggling. Leicester go want to get back on one in Formula. I believe they lost this. Yes, they did. They just lost to Arsenal. I just brought that up. It's going to be a really interesting game between these two, but I believe Leicester will take this game, and I go for a 3-0 Leicester win, expect them to get back on one in four. My, ne my next one and last one for this weekend is West Ham versus Liverpool. West Ham did actually, I believe, yes, they did, did win, and Liverpool uh, drew, didn't they, it's Brian. Um, it's going to be a really interesting game for both of these clubs at the London Stadium, but top four clash as well. It's going to be a really interesting game. Again, I'll we'll surely be watching. And I'm going to go for a draw. And I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.